Hello, welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews, it's Gaming Friday. And I'm Bigger. And I'm Gary. And today, we are taking a look at Wreckfest. Wreckfest! Which came out in June 2018 on PC, and will be coming out on the PS4 and the Xbox One in November 2018. This is a vehicular combat racing game developed by Bugbear Entertainment and published by THQ Nordic. Uh, Bugbear, of course, legendary game developers of Flat Out, yeah. Flat Out 2, yeah. and Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, yeah. which came out in 2007, amongst a few other car racing games. So big, let's take a look at the career mode. That's kind cool. of the bread and butter for most people coming coming yeah, to this that's, game that's mode. Cool. So what we're we going to look at? We're going to look at some sort of demolition mode. Let's have a look at. I'm up for a demolition. A bit of a demolition. Yeah. Well, that's what most people would be wanting to buy this game for. <laughs> for definite. Now, I the last b big racing game or that I devoted a serious amount of time to was Ultimate Carnage, Me too. flat out 2007. Yeah. And you know, all the racing games that have come since have all been about the graphics. You know, we had the Project Gotham Racings, mm. your Gran Turismos, and now it's all about your Forza, Forza uh, Horizon. Horizons yeah, yeah, and things. Before, and yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, all these cars are very pretty. All of these cars I will never sit behind the wheel of. <laughs> no. And so, yeah, you have all of these games with these really nice yeah. cars and really nice racing engines. And I'm just like, it's all too clean. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ride on the back of a giant lawnmower and go and send people flying. <laughs> Definitely. I, I love this game and I, just like you, I was a fan out of um, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage as well. Like I really put a lot of hours into that game. Like yeah. It was a lot of fun, like especially like the little mini games that you could play as well. Like They had loads of like bowling games and yeah, flinging bodies through hoops. Like high yeah. jump. Like, um, now those were silly. They, they were they, silly. It, was, it was playing on the fact that they had a good or a working physics engine Definitely which played. was fun to play around they played with, with but it was satisfying it brung you back for more it time. was good for party games get a bunch of people around you're yeah. all drinking and it's yeah throw throw bodies at, at hoops <laughs> <laughs> watch them flailing you know it was uh, crash test dummies kind yeah, of thing exactly, yeah. and this is kind of what you're seeing here uh, essentially and this has also been noted as being the spiritual successor to, other than Flat Out, the Destruction Derby series. Oh, yeah. Going back to the old PlayStation I days, those Derby. were a fantastic series of games as well. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's just, just it, I, as soon as I saw a glimpse of this game, I was just like, "This is Destruction Derby. This is Flat Out rolled into one." Mm. Like, this is the game that we've always wanted to to actually play on the next gen. Yes. We didn't want it to be held back like or anything like that. We wanted like Carnage. We wanted like Destruction Derby. We wanted racing where like it's not you can you can drive clean if you want to, but you're gonna get punished by other people, <laughs> other players because that is the name of the game. The, the name of the game is Wreckfest, and this is what you've got. I think some people because I I've you know we've loaded up my campaign here now, and I'm mm. I, I've had about five really good long sittings with the game. Yeah, and I've played about two hours of the career campaign, and all of the rest of the time I've spent multiplayer playing online. Um, I haven't gone on multiplayer solo on my own. Mm. I've usually gone into the multiplayer with a big group of friends and it has been so addictive. It's a case <laughs> of one more race, one yeah, more one event, more race, and yeah. then it gets broken up by a Destruction Derby style elimination yeah, or, exactly. or a takedown score. Now, I, you know, it should be said that this game, is, it's amazing that it has finally seen the light of day. Because it was only when, when looking at the, the game's history that I realised that this game went through a bit of a nightmare. Uh, it failed its Kickstarter campaign way back in 2013. Oh, really? They were aiming to make or to generate $350,000. Which isn't even really that much when yeah. you consider the state of the AAA gaming industry oh, yeah, or, you know, or the amount of money that games are costing these days. They didn't raise that much. They only managed to raise eighty-one thousand dollars for the next car game because they didn't even have a title for it then. Oh, wow. It was just known as the next car game, and so the Kickstarter failed. And then the game went through, eventually went through a four-year early access. Oh, wow. You know, and you know, over the course of the last sort of five years, maybe ten years now, we've seen so many games go into early access, and that's where they died. Yeah, you know they they never continued. They made some money, 
the, all the people that were interested in the game has given them the money, so they weren't going to get any extra money really on its final release, and they, they died. But with Bugbear, they have stuck to it, mm. and I'm so glad that they did, because they ha- they have uh, they they focused purely on the physics and making the physics work, and that to me is just the the attention that brought me to it. I looked at the graphics for this game and went, you know what? I've seen better. There are better graphics. Yeah, there's definitely better graphics out there. But are there better physics? No. (laughs) No. To be honest, it's not... The destruction and the physics and uh, the graphics on this game when you do collide with another car and or collide with a wall, it's it's so satisfying. It really, really is. They called it the soft body damage modelling. Hmm. And it is the most notable feature about the game. It's the car physics and the damage and the destruction. It's location based damage that will and does affect the driving dynamics of the cars in quite a realistic way. So you can have the tires get buckled and bent mm. and your car on the next corner is you're going to feel it. You will feel it. You will feel that wheel bending and so wobbling away. In the bottom left corner at the moment you can see the outline of the car and the white bars all the way around it all indicates the armour. So you've got the front, the back and the sides. Mm. And so once once all that armour has been depleted it will essentially disappear from that image. Then any damage that you take will severely affect the car's performance. Which you can see broken down into four boxes to the left hand side. And underneath the actual total amount of health armour that you have before <laughs> the race is over. Now, I have seen so many races where there's 24 of us in the race and three people finish. That's three people go over the finish line. For everyone else, it says eliminated or did not finish. And that is from pure road rage. Pure road rage. Pure rage road rage. I look at some racetracks when I'm in the multiplayer and as soon as the race loads up, I'm just like, yeah, this is carnage. I will call out how many people will finish the actual race, depending on how many laps there actually are. Now, there are a couple of... um, options for tweaking the damage that you take you can literally have normal damage in which case it pretty much is a straight up racer yeah you know you you can twist and bend the car but you're not going to take that much damage the race will keep going or you can go to the realistic option which is pretty much what every multiplayer event is set to the realistic damage which means if you hit a tree at 120 miles an hour don't expect to finish to the race or even win the race. You know, don't, don't come, <laughs> expect to come out the other end smiling. Like. No. <laughs> now there are also options for resetting your car back on the track. You know, in so many games, I've played so many racing games. You know, just temporarily, and it's just like, oh, you took that corner terribly. Hold this button and rewind time and take the corner as many times as you like until you've got it. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, hold my hand because I'm terrible at racing. Mm. But it just, you know, it just. It, it took it took it took something away from you. It did, it did. Uh, with this game, you have the option of holding the X button and it will put you back on the track. Granted, you will have a setback in terms of the amount of time it takes, but uh, the host of the games that, that you set up can adjust that time to holding that button down for five seconds. Mm. Uh, and some races remove that option entirely. Yeah. So you then literally have to try and get back on track. But then you get some racers, like myself, if I am taken out or spun out or it looks like I'm not going to win this race, I'm there to make sure other people don't win the race too. <laughs> yeah, that's my target too. I'm raging so hard I want to take out other people because other people have taken me out. Exactly, and then so inadvertently you take out someone else that had nothing to do with you being taken out earlier, but they were on the racetrack. That's they were right. in your racing line. They were in my racing line, that's my excuse. Like, <laughs> that's my excuse when they try and like push me out of the way and I'm like no you're not pushing me out of the way I've seen your tactics Jay you like to jump right to the front you you usually end up at the front of the pack I do and you yeah. manage to avoid all of the crunch ups because it's at these first corners where you're seeing this happen where people get spun out like that. get crashed oh, and get wrecked and it's almost yeah. race over at this point but it's not it's not because it's not the, the ones at the front are also smashing around each other and eventually you'll see wreckages in front of you that you'll slip past them. You always know in a wreckage as well, but you'll see body parts and wheels and like bits of engine and body parts across the road and stuff like yes, that. Yes, yeah. Once, once somebody is taken out and destroyed, the wreckage of their car remains on the road for the rest of the, the, the race. 
Oh dear. Why? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I was trying to outsmart them, like, but I, I, I took that way too late. <laughs> Can nah. you actually go that way and then yeah, come around yeah, the other way? Yeah, you can go either way you want. Okay, so... As long as you go around... I've only ever raced on this track just the once, and it is... It's designed for head-on collisions. Oh, yeah. You're like, literally playing chicken with oncoming the traffic did, in this one. The reason I did do that is because now I am in the 11th place. I know which... They're all going to go that way. Yeah. And so when I... Basically, when when I go the opposite direction, it jumbles up the order. So okay, they're coming at you now. <laughs> See, nope, nope, nope. See, jump, jump in. Your dampers are yeah. leaking. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> they're, all, they're all broke, they're all broke. They're all, like, sorting out their lives. See, it gives me a chance to get a couple more places. See, I, w yeah. I was last, and now, yeah. like, you know. So what do you think of the overall presentation of the game? The presentation of the game is pretty solid. You know, the graphics are solid, like, um, the cars. All the cars are pretty solid as well. The handling's good as well. Once you get, like, the knack of how to take a corner, how to drift around the corner. It's really good. Oh, uh, See, like, you've got little targets here as well that you have to... They earn you bonus XP. Yeah. XP is the way... You, it, there, there's basically two currencies. Where you, there's XP that you earn. You earn a bonus XP for doing takedowns, T-bones, shunting, ramming, etc, uh, etc. Et mm. uh, but uh, depending on where you, f where you finish on the racing line, depends on how many credits you earn and you'll need the credits to buy lots of different upgrades for the cars and of course to buy the cars themselves there are over 40 plus cars <laughs> in the game <laughs> as you can see uh, i'm gonna take a restart on that guy i think you might i think you might have to yeah. so yeah there's more than 40 cars in the game which at first i, I you know I, I ended up just playing with the same car for almost 10 hours to begin with mm. before i started playing the single player unlocking cars and then earning enough credits mm. to buy more cars um and then playing in the various you got c we got c d uh sort of uh race events and then you've got the b and a list events yeah uh racing in the higher ones obviously you'll get more credits so you'll be able to buy the upgrades and other cars a lot easier as you move up up the rankings but I've had a lot of a lot of fun just playing in the C-list division. Yeah, definitely as well. Like uh, you, can, yeah. you can buy the A-list cars and sort of downgrade them mm. to be able to race in the C the oh, C-list event. Cheeky, son of a <laughs> so even though there are only forty cars, for me that it, at first it didn't feel like there were that many cars in the game. When you see that there are that many, after a while I can imagine that you would still start to feel like there's not enough. Mm. But the amount of customization that there is in the game has has left me quite satisfied yeah. each of the cars has like five different skin types um and with each of those skin types you can change all of the paint and decals that are on there and mm. change you know you can't change the placement but you can change the style yeah you, you know. can change the exhaust but then you can change all of the color painting right. and then there's lots of other customization like i said the exhaust the engines you can have sharks on there <laughs> skulls boxing gloves i've seen cars with coffins on top of them you know uh, there are also some weird cars like we saw earlier the lawnmower. There are school buses. There are harvesters <laughs> uh, You know, and so it's just, it's a little bit crazy and a little bit mental and that's what you want That's what you want. <laughs> you, want you want destruction derby Hell yes. Now there are also 20 racetracks in the game Each one of those can also be played in reverse yeah, yeah. and often not when you play those tracks in reverse They do pretty much feel like a, a different track You'll still go, I know this track, but yeah, doing it in reverse, it's a, it's an old different challenge in and of itself. There's enough variety between tarmac and off-road sections, some, you know, more towards the other. Mm. Uh, there is also a little amount of fine-tuning that you can do to the cars before every race. Do you want to explain that a little bit? Yeah, you can fine-tune the, 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 the setup for your ride, so you can... Um you can say for now, for instance, like you can have your, your setup so it's more tight and more like your suspension more stiff, so you can go around corners more often, but you won't be like drifting as much as well. But then again, you can put it on soft and you can have an ultra soft as well, so you can have it. So if you're on a dirt track, it's easier to go around corners. And you can also set up with the gear ratio as well, so some corners have like a lot of, like as you can see here, a lot of straights, a lot of high speeds. So you can set your, your engine up so it's, it leans towards the, uh, the top speed more than the acceleration. And again, with everything else, with the brake balance as well. And so, yeah, I think I just said, said suspension as well. Right. But right. Oh yeah, yeah, and brake balance, I think that was the other one. Yeah, yeah. 
But um, yeah, as well as that, you can always yeah with the customizations as well. You can't like really fine tune it like that, but you don't re you don't really need to f extremely fine tune it in this. It's it's just nice and simple because the main focus on this game is just causing destruction and everyone's pretty level pegged as well with the the upgrades and what you have and the, the cars and what you have. Every, it's just a matter of fact of what works best for you as well, which I find is like a really great. So it does require just a little bit of experimentation, play with some of the cars, mm. tweak some of the options a little bit. Yeah. If you have to, you don't need to. I've hardly ever touched the fine tuning of anything. Yeah, exactly. I've just been buying the upgrades, equipping them to the car and, and just going with it. Yeah. The more upgrades that I buy, the better I found every car has mm. performed. Sometimes so. I put armor upgrades on some cars, it's actually ruined the car. It slows it down, it, slows it, it down. reduces will, your acceleration exactly. quite a bit. And when but I've actually tried to replace it, it's actually just never been as good as it was before. I'll find much. myself building vehicles for the, the destruction events and vehicles for the racing events. Mm. Uh, and eventually, if I keep playing the game long enough, I will probably build and have different cars tuned to different tracks Definitely. or, or um, to w knowing whether I'm going to be on tarmac mm. or if it's going to be mud for instance mm. uh, exactly. so yeah there, there's plenty of customization there uh, especially with the cars and the skins and everything else it does it does keep it interesting it's only very rarely do I see duplicate looking cars on the tracks and that's probably because the paint job of the or the skins for that car are you know, <laughs> quite attractive, yeah, quite, yeah, a lot, exactly. quite a lot of people will choose it. I like to have my cars quite plain on this because I like to think of them as like just normal banger races. Like, I, I, I've kind of started doing the same thing actually. The last two cars I've purchased I've just made them plain white. <laughs> just plain white paint. Yeah. Well, not only that because also it would be easier for me to stand out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I put mine as like a really dark I want people to know where I'm coming. <laughs> like it's like literally some middle aged old man sedan. <laughs> it's that's been what, taken to end its days on the banger circuit that's what i wanted from it like and it's gonna end its life like that yeah yeah i always used to love watching banger racing as oh, well me too yeah. especially like uh, when you get like clips of it from american tv Ex exactly like. yes yeah me and my brother used to love watching we used to have Jesus. recorded hours and hours of it just, to, <laughs> yeah. just and we just watch the same tapes over and over again uh, which is why my love for this sort of genre of game is has now come back because it's been a while because you know after the flat out games I did move and we've mentioned uh -huh. this before uh, to the burnout series mm. and the burnout series held the mantle for quite some time especially with its physics yeah. destruction its takedown its aggressive racing mm. its arcadey gameplay um, but of course that kind of went away with burnout paradise for me my love for that series and that game just waned so quickly after that I didn't even bother going back for its relaunch celebration mm. it's just like i'm kind of done that didn't that game didn't do it for me the first time it's not going to do it for me the second time no but at a glance at this game i knew it was a a purchase uh just straight away as soon as i saw 24 school buses going around a racetrack <laughs> that was fun i remember that race as well like and it was yeah. just a absolute carnage i mean you can play the game try and win but like it's it's just literally luck of where you come in the in the single player career mode i would say you're there to win the races yeah, because are, that's yeah. how you earn the credits to unlock the cars to unlock the upgrades uh just so that you have a little bit of a better standing in the multiplayer that's where it's at for me though i i went straight into the multi multiplayer and i must have played about 20 hours of the multiplayer before i even touched the single player um and the single player is i will only play that if i'm if nobody else is on to go mm. and play the multiplayer with, which exactly. which is very very rare at, at this at this time, mm. um, I will say that the uh, the multiplayer servers are they're always active any time of day I've been on the game, uh, weekdays and weekends, uh, morning, uh, you know, noon and night. I found people to play with w with friends, um, but you will often or not find that there's probably like three servers that are sitting at around 23 to 24 out of 24 players and you will have to wait for somebody to quit out, back out, lag out, yeah. essentially for you to then jump in and take their spot. Or forget to ready up. Or for, or somebody forgets to ready up whilst it's counting down, yes. Which, it is, which, I, which I find it was really actually a great feature because um, it stops like um, people... Sitting on the racetrack sit and sitting in track. lobbies, yeah. doing nothing. Doing yeah. nothing, yeah. exactly. Um, I do find the, uh, the server menus a little bit archaic yeah. in terms of finding games. Yeah, but if you're tricky. old school enough... You'll you'll be you'll be pretty used to it. That's like 
Rainbow Six 3 days, isn't it? Like, it reminds me of those servers. It, it is like early 2000s. It, it feels like it is like a 15-year-old, you know, server uh, hopping kind of thing. Mm. Um, so, yeah, but it, it's uh, it's it's not too too taxing. Once once you know what you're looking for, once you've played the game enough, you know what sort of games you're, you're in the mood for. Um, but there's always been people on to play with. Playing the game with friends is so much better, yeah. of of course, because you get the you get the friendly rivalries, oh, and no. uh, oh, occasionally you'll yeah. you know grief uh -oh. one of your friends enough to have uh, record that moment. <laughs> record moments like this epic failure right there. Yeah, yeah. And then where you uh you was in, you know fighting for first place, and now you're fighting for last. Place, yeah, so. yeah. Now I will say that uh, the uh, I have seen. I wouldn't say this game's multiplayer is player base is toxic, but there are toxic players. And it, it you know, I, since I playing a lot of PC games, it's the first time I've been reminded of early Xbox Live days when I see torrents of racism <laughs> and N bombs being dropped in the yeah. chat and I'm just like what? What is this? Like, there, there, come are little, on. There, there are little immature people playing this, but there is there a are. small community on there which, it, which you do find the same players playing I again have, and again. I have bounced into and, the same players a few times. And you do know the good players from the bad players eventually if you play it as often as we have. Yes, yeah. And you tend to stick with them and you tend to get like a lot of great races and uh, the chat rooms are usually like... You know, they can be quite friendly, actually. Quite friendly f banter, friendly and banter, because you know, you know, especially like if you're just taking someone out on the last <laughs> corner, on the last lap, and you've been fighting all that time, yeah, and you lose it and you fuck up, and like, and it's just like, oh my god, <laughs> and then you start and you hear him being like, oh mate, that was a good race. What happened? And you're just like, no, I fucked up. <laughs> and, it's just, yeah. and it's just like, yeah. it's friendly, but when, you know, people can get so salty on there, and it's like, oh, why don't you drive clean and stuff like this? Yep. And I'm like, oh, mate, are you, if you want to drive clean, please just like, just turn this game off and just go play Forza yes. or Gran Turismo, because this game is about being cheeky, being, you know, <laughs> being. Yeah. You now, know, I, 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 when I sit down to play this game, I always load it up and go, I'm just going to clean race. I'm just going to clean race, and then all of a sudden, one mother, mother will just spin me out, and then that spin out becomes unrecoverable because the next person hits you, then the next person hits you, and the next thing you know, you're halfway to the moon. Exactly. As you saw <laughs> now, I, I, you know, I flipped yeah. over, and then I just got round one again and again and again. Yeah, and so it's, uh, you know, you're going to keep your cool. <laughs> and just and you know that's why I play the multiplayer because when I'm playing the multiplayer, it's not about winning, it's about having fun, and that is something that so many games just are not about anymore. Mm. And as soon as I saw this game, I was like, "This is fun!" Like listening to all my friends playing the game and laughing about it, I'm like that that that's that sound of everyone laughing is where, where yeah. I want to go and be. This is like watch, <laughs> watching everyone like and just yeah the whole the whole experience is just fun and it's rewarding exactly. it's satisfying it it satiates the the look the lust shit. of carnage look at this, it's, look, look at this all that metal thing. grinding against each other <laughs> it's just anarchy on the racetrack it's, it's I mean, yeah like on, online as well like it is 10 million times worse than this every uh, there yes. been, like, oh absolutely oh, i would have been dead last by now like, i would have been taken out the race the, the, in the multiplayer the first lap is the is the, the is killer. one of the toughest and it's the mm. one that all you need to do is try to survive you need to know what which corners cause the biggest pile-ups and just pray you make it through <laughs> just pray pray and hope to god now i will say that the uh the ai because not uh, the AI in the single player campaign is is is, is fine, it's and in good. instances it does replicate human behavior. It does. You can cause uh, other AIs to become your nemesis if you aggravate them on the racetrack. You will get a warning saying that you have become their nemesis or you're their ne whichever. You'll get bonus points if you tap them again. But I will what I will be racing cleanly, and all of a sudden the AI will just be having none of it, no. none of it whatsoever, yeah. and it will just be gunning for you to take you out, whether it takes itself out or not. And you're just like, wow, you know that that I thought that was a player. <laughs> uh, granted, as well, when you're playing a multiplayer, you can also fill the rest of the room out with bots, which is also amazing. So um, if enough players drop out, or there's not enough players to make up a full lobby. You can make up the rest of the number with bots, which will occasionally play recklessly and try to take you out instead of racing. Sounds like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not nice, nicely done. So what would you say about the music 
in the game. Uh, as soon as I heard three seconds, I turned it off. <laughs> yeah, I, pr I I literally turned the music volume down to a minimal level, and I just and that's only because I keep forgetting to actually just go and turn it off because it is not it's, for me. It's not fitting with the game at all. I mean, I know what they're trying to go for. This like kind of like it was just too rowdy. mixed. Yeah, it was too like, this rowdy and rough like type. You know, like, really high aggressive, game. aggressive. Type. Exactly. Yeah, there is like screech death metal rock, which I was into for a period, but yeah, it just it's just become just become distracting mm, in I, this yeah, game. I turned it off straight away. If I if it was like dude and banjos, like it all like set like music for each like race maybe maybe i would have left it on but like to me I, i'm not paying that much attention to it no to really to, like, uh, i'm yeah. literally tempted to just play my own music playlist in the background of the game yeah, i'm happy uh, hearing the destruction yeah happy like, to hear, i was going to say the sound effects in the game um is also a little bit i would say i'm a little bit iffy on it now it's one of the things i had to turn down massively when I first loaded the game, it was when I got into the first race. Was just the, the the rattling and screeching of all these engines firing up at once. Which is like, I need. Where's my volume? Volume. <laughs> it was it was a bit deafening. Um, it's all. I also couldn't really tell the difference between any of the car engines. They all kind of seem the same-ish. They kind of sound similar. I kind of get that, but um, some of them do sound different. Like, and um, I guess like this. I think because. The metal sounds too much just because there's a lot go of it going on. Yeah. Like, and it's supposed to have this like really like impact when it does go off. You're like, oh, like, yes. when it does go off. Especially with the... The crunching, noise. grinding, smashing sounds are, are, are brilliant. Mm. I love smashing into a like a pile of tires. Like There's a hundred tires in the corner. Just piling into them and listening to all the tires bouncing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. as they go flying through the air. Again, the physics are great. The, the sound effects are great. Smashing into other cars, definitely satisfying, especially when you're in some of the bigger vehicles, mm. especially when you're in the Destruction Derby style arenas. I love it. Uh, there's quite, like, we're not, obviously not going to be able to see all of the arenas in this one, but, you know, you've got the classic figure eights, you've got the loops, you've got the ones with plenty of hairpin turns. There are some tracks that have shortcuts, which, even though it's less distance, requires a lot more maneuverability and turning. Love the nurse, which I do, do not have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll often not just take the or not the longer the, route. Yeah, I don't have enough patience for that. No. I just want to get there through quick. I mean, there's a shortcut there, but it's risque. Like, yeah. You know, it usually sends a lot of people like on a 50 foot jump. Uh, so it should be said that this game has uh, a 75% score on PC Gamer, an 8.2 and an 8.3 on Metacritic. And uh, mostly and very positive review score on Steam at the moment. Um, I I would definitely be in that that eighty percent sort of range. Mm, um, I think the game is is very satisfying. I don't know the longevity of the game. I think it falls down to player preference. Um, would I recommend this game at full price? If you're a fan of the early flat out games, if you're a fan of the Destruction Derbies or the uh, Burnout series, this is a must-buy day one purchase. You know, you've either already purchased it on Steam or you're, you know, you're waiting for it on Xbox or PlayStation. This will be a must-buy day one purchase day for me. Day one. Day one. You know, if, if you're a, you know, a Forza fanatic and you love, you know, f f clean racing, you know, buy, yeah. uh, buy this one as your arcade distraction. You know, <laughs> yeah, because I am a Forza fan as well. I do like Forza games. I love all racing games as well. Yeah, and I had to when from switching Forza to this, I had to get you it's know, a different mentality. It's a different mentality to realize that like coming eighth out of that shit storm there was not so bad. Like, yeah, you know, especially online as well. Yeah, and um, what I, sometimes what I like doing on this as well is just um just going through the replay. Yes, and like just kind of like speeding it up to like a really nice part. And then just, uh, I believe you can go in slow motion as well. Yeah, you can slow motion. There's a, there's a corner coming up. So, <laughs> and it doesn't. Yeah, there's plenty of different camera angles for you to choose from. Of course, when you're playing with other players, you can choose all the other different cars. You know, it's only when you slow it down sometimes, when you come to a screeching halt, that I always end up looking at the bystanders. Oh yeah, they're the, all the, clapping. And stuff. There's so many clones. Oh, <laughs> there are so no. many clones. <laughs> clones. There are clones on every corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you're not really supposed to be 
paying too much attention to the scenery in the background when no. you're looking at the destruction physics of the cars. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, this is an absolute must buy. <laughs> Definitely. Can't 100%. wait to get back and play this some more. <laughs> no, yeah, one hundred percent full price. Couldn't recommend this game any more. Um, yeah. I can't believe it took so long to get it out, and I'm so, so glad, glad that like, the, the yeah. guys from Flat Out did this. Um, yeah, it's just a really great all-around game. And when you're talking about the longevity of this game as well, uh, people like me will play this till like death. I mean, every time I play this online, it's a new experience for me. Yeah, you do get some races that like yeah, nice and like nice and clean-ish, <laughs> <laughs> and then you do get races where it's just like absolute carnage. Carnage. Yeah, I mean like. It's it's just an all around good 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 game like and yeah I couldn't recommend this game good uh, recommend this game good good enough <laughs> <laughs> well enough yeah. well enough That's indeed the word. <laughs> and so with that I just want to say thanks for watching everyone we'll be back next Friday looking at another video game of course new film reviews on Thursdays you can find us on Facebook on Twitter and on Patreon thanks for watching everyone see you next time see ya.